November 16th, 2017. Um, I didn't really plan on doing any more videos for a little while. I'm right in the middle of moving. As a matter of fact, I have to be out tomorrow. And um, I'm here by myself with one hand, trying to pack and uh, get everything ready to be moved tomorrow. Uh, I took a little break, and uh, I started looking at uh, all my past videos, like the video I shot. Um, I've been slowing it down, cutting it in half, uh, I'm cutting it three times, and uh, just uh, pausing it and trying to catch the, the craft coming. It looks like it comes from behind the sun. Um, I want to really say it's like a maybe like a two-dimensional being, some type of hyper-dimensional being. I couldn't tell you. It just seems like um, maybe two-dimensional for some reason. But um, on the on the day of the eclipse, uh, I had got my computer hacked and lost a lot of a uh, video of it. But uh, I was uh, able to uh, salvage two two clips. One was a minute. I think the other one was 30 seconds. But that's all you need. Um, this is just one of the videos. I cut it down, um, slowed it down to a quarter quarter speed. So you can see where I got these stills from, and then the, all the stills came from this video as well. I just wanted to show you how much these things morph and change. And they're really pretty much only two colors. I mean, they, they vary in color, but their two main uh, pronounced colors is like a, a metallic white. It's almost like uh, silverish, but it's, it's more white, uh, so I just call it metallic white. And the other one, and the other side is like black, but it has like a purple blue color sometimes to it. But uh, yeah, like uh, in a blink of an eye, these things uh, change that quick. And even at um, when I slowed these down, I could always slow it down um, 50%. So um, it was a little trickier getting them. But there's so many of them. It really makes you wonder, it's like, um, the day of the eclipse, like, you'll see the strobing, I don't know, piece of technology above the sun, it just, like, strobes and pulses. I took this video, um, I ran the video recorder on, uh, Sony CyberShot, it's a, it's a 1080, and it's, a uh, 10 megapixels, it, but it's it just, a, gives us such a great picture don't have very much for zoom but um the clarity makes up for it so i put it on a tripod and let it run and when it's on a tripod i don't have to worry about tri keeping it focused in and, and all that stuff it just once it centers on its on the center of the the camera screen that's where it focuses in on automatically it's like an autofocus so i just let it run so the pulsing of the sun simulator or whatever you want to call it is um it's not due to um zoom in and zoom out it's uh just naturally doing it i don't i don't i don't know what it is but it's like it's like um opening the bottomless pit or something or it's holding some type of portal open for these beings to come in and out and uh just look at the mass amount of these things it's just unbelievable it's like um after having my close encounters with these things a couple of times and how loud they were, it was like, um, it was like a giant drone buzz sound or like a giant bee sound like that, just that buzzing sound and, uh, they're incredibly fast, but it was just like so loud and, uh, overpowering and it'll really startle you if you're not, uh, ready for it and how could you be ready for something like that coming up on you? But, um, yeah, and here's some really good close-ups. It's undeniable. You can't tell me this is a freaking seagull, or you can't tell me it's a bug or a dragonfly. I've been telling you guys this for years. Everybody that doubts me, I'm sorry. Those that don't doubt me. But I've been telling you this for over a year, what these things are. And uh, I've been trying to show you and trying to show you. And I don't know if I could get these things much more closer besides shaking their hand and I, I'm not really about to do that because uh, 
I don't think these things are good by any means. Um, like when the, in Revelations, when the, the Bible is talking about the, the locusts from the bottomless pit and how they have chest plates of armor and stuff like that. This is what this makes me think of. Now, if that's what it is, I don't know. I really don't know if uh, somebody has any type of feedback. Leave in the comments. But um, that's just what it makes me think of. Um, these are some hyperdimensional beings. I really tend to believe it's some type of um, fallen entity, maybe, is what I'm leaning towards. I don't think it's anything uh, like... Um, I don't think it's our friends or our ancestors or anything like that. I think the ancient people called them gods, and I think the ancient people called them the Anunnaki, and um, they had met many other names for them. Um, even in the Bible, it, it states uh, these um, hyperdimensional light beings and um, being like an Elohim, like Elohim, meaning angelic race, not God or anything like that. It does mean God. But it boils down to Elohim is uh, an angelic race. Um, I looked it up in a bunch of different ways. And um, it's used a couple different ways in the Bible, Elohim. So you, it, there's more than one meaning for it. But it all basically means uh, the same thing. It's these uh, higher dimensional beings. You know, God the Creator is a capital E Elohim. And all the rest are uh, lowercase e Elohim. So, um, yeah, I'll take care. Like I said, I'm right in the middle of the move. But I had to show you this because it was just unbelievable. I still have to do the breakdown in the other video. I probably won't be able to do it until I get all settled in in the next house. So, I'll probably see you guys, I don't know, Saturday or Sunday. Y'all yeah, take care. Oh, yeah. By the way, there's a channel... And she does awesome work. There's a... And her name is uh, Ann. And it's Ann's channel. Uh, you need to go over there and check out her videos. Um, she's getting the same type of thing. Same thing as uh, Miss Jennings. Um, a fellow channel. Uh, she's She's actually been subscribing to me since, like, I had six subscribers. <laughs> she's uh, been big support and she's also getting the same um entities these unknown craft whatever you want to call it so go over to her channel as well i'll uh leave the channel names in the in the description check these two check these two girls channels out they're really really good they're getting the same thing i'm getting and um they just got the eye for it and uh they got a gift from god so uh check those channels out um my favorite from Anne's too is uh it's called the sun grabbers it's the only one she narrates in but the way she describes it is just perfect to the t so please check those video check that video out y'all take care